Hello everyone and welcome back to the dungeon. Um yeah, and great guitar build off stuff. Woo all the stuff going on, yeah, I've got lots of stuff going on. Um uh I've got some things. I have to go to the hospital uh for about two days. Well at least a few days. Um and I had some really bad days, so I have um I had Two good days, and in those two good days, I tried to finish the great guitar build off guitar as well as I could. Um, but it's time to admit my defeat. I can't make it. I'm so close, but I can't make it. It's uh, it's too much. What I can do, however, is show you how far I've gotten and how sexy this guitar looks because it's almost done, and she's a complete beauty but let me show you um, what I've been doing in the past few days burning the midnight oil uh, up until late at night just to get this done or at least as far as, far as I could um, I gave it my all <laughs> but it wasn't enough but let's see what uh, what I did
Monaco to Mexico, from Canada to Detroit, and from Detroit to here, Paul Rica, a car to car, head to head, almost wheel to wheel, battle for leadership of a Grand Prix between Kenna, who has won three races, and Prost, who has won the same number. It's anybody's guess at the moment. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, like I said, I had here uh, had about two and a half hours left uh, at that point, uh, so I just decided I'll throw it all together, make it look good, at least do the electronics, which I did off camera because, well, um, <laughs> time. Ah. Um, so yeah, um, this is my new friend George, by the way, George Lazy B. Uh, uh, I kind of like having him here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, finished the guitar as far as I could. There's no strings on it. Uh, it needs tuning pegs. It needs screws to hold down the scratch plate. Uh, it needs holes for the string through. Uh, I did the wiring though. It just needs an input jack and uh, we should be ready to go. Um, all the hardware is on it, but I still have to fasten it down because uh, I put one screw in just to keep it there. Um, but I really wanted you guys to see uh, what it looks like. So, without further ado, there she is. Redid the headstock because I um, kind of fucked it up. So I uh, reburnt it and gave it a little bit darker look. Uh, which goes well with the rest of the uh, the body, I think. It's uh, it came out so nice. It looks so sexy. I still have to polish it. This is unpolished, but look at that crane in there. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful piece of wood. And I know you guys love looking at my wood. So, uh, like I said, everything's on it. Um, I put the switch on the back because I like volume swells. So this gives me the possibility to do volume swells. Um, tally bridge is on there. It's a Harley Benton tally bridge with tally pickups. Also from Harley Benton. Um, yeah, I did the leather scratch plate. Oh, come on, focus. Yeah, focus. I did the leather scratch plate. I made it flush with the body, so it's inside the guitar. It's flush. Um, I really like it. I left a seam on it. Uh, here so you can actually see that it's actually leather and I think she overall looks sexy she's far from finished but um, I am going to finish this guitar in the, f in the next few weeks um, but due to the hospital visits I'm not really sure when I'll be able to finish it so it's um, it's all a big a, a big guess right now to see when I'll be able to finish this but doesn't she look great? I wish I could play this. Um, so yeah, this is my entry into the great guitar build off, and I'm not really skilled with um, with the camera and stuff, so I'll try to post some photos of it, and um, you can file it under not finished. 